We're on a we're on a rush. So, my practice of 90 minutes. I divide it in groups of 20 minutes. 20 minutes between the game and maybe a ladder, a game and maybe some ball handling. Then I have 20 minutes of individual fundamentals. The third block of 20 minutes is combinations. That is two on two, three on three, three on two. And the last 20 minutes we play five on five or if we're many we can go four and four and four. Besides the usual ball handling that we all do, lately I've, I've been working with tennis balls. Okay? So, try dribbling both. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Batman and Robin, cry, eh? Okay? Now, okay? Now, don't, don't look at the ball. Okay, if you go down, it's easier. Now, try to do this. Ball, tennis ball, okay, and you dribble. So. Okay, dribble hard, so the ball is always on your hand. If you go tong. Hey, strong, strong. Bravo. Change hand. <laughs> okay, now, try tossing it this way and catching it like this. Strong. Tom, 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 tom. Hey. Okay, now, go. Touches the foot and then catch. One bounce and then catch. Don't stop the ball. Strong! Okay, now. Up in the air. Okay, left, right, and then catch. Have to be quick. Low. Okay. These are small variations, but it's something they can have fun with. And at the same time, they're dribbling, they're not watching the ball, and they're having big attention because they have to have two things going at the same time. Okay. Since we only have one now an hour, by the way, you can also have these passing drills. Get up here. Okay. No, no, no. Keep the ten, keep the tennis ball. Okay. Dribble with this hand. Okay. Dribble. Pass the ball. Okay. Now, dribble on that. Okay. No, no, no. Keep the ball there. When he passes, you change hand and catch. Go. Okay. Okay. And variations always on, on the tennis ball. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Now, the... Uh, Talk about an hour of details in shooting, okay, and on what kind of shot or and when to shoot. Okay, that is 
evaluation of space, evaluation of advantage, all things that gradually have to be put in uh, players of this age. Now, there is a virus that all coaches have that takes them to say more than 20 times every practice, bend your legs. At every category, everybody says it. Why? It is something that can, must, give us the balance. Balance to be able to do what we want, when we want, with the right efficiency. Now, very often, we coaches work very much on the end of the shot. Okay? We all put 90 degrees. Okay? We all finish. I think we should also work more on the first part of the shot. That is catching the ball, getting the ball, loading it properly, okay, to be able to have that right situation of the elbow under the ball and good continuation. Very often, with these younger players, they, have, they pick up the ball and bring it out like this, or out, or sideways, or sideways like this. Very often, it is connected to habits they started having when they didn't have the muscular strength necessary. So, the first thing I look for them to do with the ball. Okay. First thing, how we get the ball. We can get the ball through a dribble or through a pass. Second thing, the position we have when we have the ball. The third, preparation for the shot. And the fourth, the execution of the shot and the end. Now, gaining the ball through a pass or through a dribble, okay, must lead us both to the same position. So I want you to have your elbow. You ever have a, uh, you have a jacket, winter jacket? Okay, with pockets here. Okay, your elbow in the pocket. Okay, and this, this is the most important angle in universal basketball. Okay, this position here. Try. Okay, bravo. Not having strength many times has them out like this, okay, or like this. I want to be able to catch, get the elbow as soon as possible under the ball. Then, with the smaller kids, I say, this is a rocket. And we have the motor here. And we need to get the ball going up. So I will go through the position that we all know, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. But I will go already running. I'm, I don't start from here. Because they don't pass me the ball here. They pass me the ball here. I pick it up from the dribble. So the part that leads to this is equally important as the final part of the shot. So as soon as you catch, I want you to put the elbow underneath the ball as soon as possible. Then to shoot, you just have to put the elbow under and go up. Okay? Want to try? Let's go. Okay? Okay? Wow. I got the best shooter of all 12. Good job. Now,
we need good position. Okay? So balance is very important. Ready? Okay. If we keep the ball here, I don't, uh, in Germany, they have the little statues in, uh, in, uh, in gardens of the trolls and everything. How do you call them? Gnomes? Okay. The gnomes will block you if you get the ball down here. So I want you all to get the ball here. Okay, ready. From there, you put your elbow under, and then continue the wave all the way, bravo, all the way to your tiptoes, all the way to your tiptoes, and you release here. Open hand, and you finish when, when you're a kid, and you have to go look for change for the coins on top of the last shelf in the kitchen. Okay? Tiptoes, and you're following with your hand. Now, let's try to do the same thing. Now, put your finger right in the middle, okay? Bend your legs and go get the ball. Now, oh, keep it there. Now, go. Now, one round thing comes in, another round thing goes down. So the important thing here is to pick up the ball to be able to put the elbow under. Pick up, not this. Okay? Try it again. Pick up. Uh, pick up. Bravo. Okay? And now extend, extend, extend. Bravo. Okay. All the way up. They have to feel the continuation and the opening of all angles. Okay? Uh, obviously, in basketball, shooting is something that everybody has practiced, everybody knows. I hope that one small idea can help you uh, with your players. One thing that I have been working on lately, besides the initial part, is from this position, okay, once I am ready to go, get your left hand and push your elbow up, okay? to show that this is the part that goes up. We have, to, we have to remind players that the ball has to fall in and not go in. It has to fall because the number of possibilities of a rebound, if it comes from a vertical point, it's possible that it goes back in. If it comes with an angle, obviously it goes out with the same angle. Okay? Try. Okay, open hand, okay, questions, okay, strength in your legs, okay, and the opening of the angles. When we need to shoot, we must have Great balance, okay? So, from here, I want you to jump, okay? Put your elbow under, and then shoot, okay? Simple jump. Okay? Try again. Okay? Don't hold the ball in front, but hold the ball more on the side, okay? When you're going up, then it'll move by itself. Okay, bravo. Situations in which we can work on balance. Position. Okay, and then shoot.
Okay? Now, same thing. We can work. Okay? And shoot. Get the ball, elbow pocket. Same thing over here. Bravo. Okay. Now, when we are learning a two step stop, we can do the same kind of work. Okay? Only, now you go one step with your left. Okay? Then stop, okay? Okay, the ball, not like this, but with this angle, okay? So you can then just put the elbow, I'm ready to go. When, when your feet has, have stopped, one, two, the ball has to be ready, okay? Balance. Okay, try again. Legs. Okay. Ball, not in front, but in position. Same thing over there. Right. Step. Okay. Obviously, obviously this is a travel violation. So now we can try with a dribble, okay? Dribble and a one-step stop. So you can go and position. <laughs> you can't start like this. You got to start ready. Okay? Other hand dribble. Dribble with your, no, 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 over here. Dribble with your left. Okay, now you see that obviously having to shoot with the right hand and having a left hand dribble, they're on two different sides. Especially in speed, they will have a tendency to go and get the ball here, okay? We need to have the left hand bring the ball over. Left hand, okay, to close. You can maybe even sometimes wait with your right, with your shooting hand already like this. Okay, bring it over strong. Bring it over. Okay, better, bravo. We have the need to obviously have them learn a two-step stop left, two-step stop right, one-step stop in speed. Let's try now the same, similar to the same drills we had before in balance, okay? Okay? This foot doesn't move. That foot doesn't move. Always pointed there. Okay? Ball in position, not middle. Okay, now sideways. Position and shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, put the ball on the same side. Let's keep the ball in front of the foot, knee, hip, shoulder, elbow, always the same. Okay, one step. Okay. Now getting getting closer. Closer, closer, closer. Okay. This work also on height. So we need legs and extension all the way to the tiptoes. The ball must not hit the rim. Okay? Step. Okay. Now try the other step. Position. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? 
twist, this, or position. Always legs. The ball is always in position. Okay? Okay. Now we can do the same things we did before as hop, left, right, shoot. One step. Ball in position, not out here. Now, 180 and shot. Okay. When you finish your final, your final rotation, the ball has to be in position. Okay? Try. Position. Wow. Okay. Now. Try going with a pivot foot, okay? Okay. The other pivot foot. Left position, legs. Okay. Let's have somebody else. Good job, shooter. Thanks. Okay. Position. Okay. Now, here we have a different situation. Ball, strong, a little space, not too much. Okay. And we want the ball here. Okay. Then when you're red legs, when you're ready to move, your elbow will be going under. Then you'll be hitting this position, and then you'll be leading, leaving, leaving the ball up there, okay? Up in your tiptoes, okay? Try. A little weak. Strong. We have score. Okay. His hand did not push. You need to have a strong hand and... When you play, play PlayStation, he's the only kid that doesn't play PlayStation. Uh, a shooter, okay, a, uh, a, a hunter, has a very long rifle or a very short rifle? Long, because he needs precision. So, so you, you need to have very long, okay, and not short, okay? And very long means also fingers till the end. Okay? Come here. Legs. Position. Okay? Now put this under so you have a little bit of a little bit of energy. Okay? Go. Okay? Open hand till the end. I want you to tiptoes. Okay? Try tiptoes. Not up here. Not up here. Go get the ball. Right hand. Okay? Now. Bring it in, under, and up. Okay, try again. Okay, now, you need a wave. It has to be a motion, continuous motion. Okay, try. Legs, tiptoes, bravo. Okay, a lot better, a lot better. Any questions? Okay, now. Same drills. One foot. Position. Okay, extend. Okay, okay. Other foot. Ball has to go in without touching anything. No rim. Okay. 
Try not to keep, try to keep a little space, okay? Now, start like this, touch the ground, position, shot. Okay, without touching anything, no backboard, no rim, other foot. Has to go up again. Okay, better. Now the same hops, we can have them left, right, and shoot. Left, middle. Okay, this is very difficult laterally. Other foot. Without falling, okay? Now try this. Very difficult. Okay? We can try also. Now with two feet, we go one, two. Okay? Try. Get closer. One step forward, and balance, no, 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 and, and balance back. That's it. One jump, I have one step, jump, okay? Now, ball in position needs to go up. Exaggerate. Super high. Try again. Okay? Super high. Super. Okay. Now, when when he stops, he is shooting before he's falling. He, we should try to have him have a a balanced position, not shoot before a fadeaway or something. Okay. These little variations in balance can make a big difference when we work then in speed. When we have speed, we obviously have one more difficulty. One important thing is I always tell my players that at this age they are used to playing only with the ball. They have to be ready to play before they have to play. They have to be ready to catch and be already a threat for the defense. You can be a threat for the defense even without the ball, but they don't know it yet. Or very rarely they realize that they can be a threat only by being in a different position. Okay? On the contrary of other sports, basketball is a sport where all players know how to shoot and all players shoot okay there are no defenders and offensive players everybody does everything and it is important to understand that being able to shoot doesn't mean that you have to shoot and the selection of when to shoot and to what type of shot to use is something that they have to gain through experience and drills Let's try now to see one, one of you. Luca. Who's Luca? The only name I remember. <laughs> okay. Come here with the ball. And name? Okay. Gaspare. In Italian, it's Gaspare. I have a very good friend called Gaspare. Okay. Now, run towards the ball. Okay, and when he passes you the ball, stop in balance. Okay, so I want you to go towards the ball, and when he passes you, I want you to stop in balance. Okay, ready? Now I want you to hey, give a big target. Target, target, ten fingers. 
Go. Okay. A little, a little balance. Okay. Try again. Now shoot. Okay. If I was his coach, I would tell him to grab the ball a little bit more, okay, to be able to put a little more strength in his shot. Okay, he's bringing the ball up this way. Okay, try again. Get the ball, bring it in. Steal the ball from the air. Okay, what did you notice on his, on his uh, wrist? He caught the ball like this. What can he do with the ball like this? Very little. He can maybe dribble, but he cannot pass the ball before moving again. Okay? Now, with this angle, it's pretty easy, okay, to have a left-right situation. Gradually, we increase the angle. Come here. Over there. Okay? Now you can come towards the ball, left, right, and get the ball only in position, okay? Without shooting. Go. Target. Okay. Get the ball from the air so you can be ready because the defense is there to steal it, okay? Go. Luca. Let's go. Okay. As soon as you can, bring it into position. Okay? Now, you get the ball there. No, no. Get the ball there. Now, Luca does the same thing from the right. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. Okay? So, you're stopping also. Right, left. Okay? Hands. Target. Go. Okay? He has the ball on the other side of his head. You have the ball here. Okay? Very important for you to bring the ball as soon as possible close to your elbow. These are small details that if they are caught when they are 13, 14, 15, they're easily corrected. If they're 17, 18, it's very hard. Okay? Because motor skills have a have had years and years of bad repetition. Let's say put it that way. Now, when, when we play basketball, we have players that have a big number, a big amount of information to consider. When they catch the ball, they have to realize, okay, where they are, what part of the court they are, what their skills are. They can shoot, they can't shoot, they can dribble, they cannot dribble. Where the teammate, where the teammates are, and where the defense is. And they must all elaborate all this information in less than a second. Okay? So, a lot of information very often with younger players puts them in what they call option paralysis. Catch the ball, okay, what do I have to do? I have to think about this, I have to think about that, I have to think about that, I have to read where the other guy, and they're standing, okay? So initially, we must reduce the options they have for them to be able to make things automatic, Okay, let's say that like that. And once they are automatic, then we can add some other options. Okay? For example, uh, okay, can you give me that chair, please? Oh, okay, no, leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay. Okay. Now, if. Okay, get down there, 
without the ball. There without the ball. Now, if come to receive the ball, if I give it to you, I usually put here a chair, okay? Now we, we don't have a chair. If you catch it after the green, okay, green is the defender. If you catch it, come, run, run, run. If you catch it after the green, that means you can continue, okay? So I want you to dribble, lay up, okay? If you catch it before the green, stop, cross over, left dribble, lay up, okay? Now we're giving only a option of space. Go. Okay. With a little more energy. Go. Okay. Very important, aside from, from slippering, your balance. Come in ready. Okay. Go. I have the ball. Continue. Continue. Go. Continue. Okay. Let's, let's have Luca try. Luca, have you had your cup of coffee? Energia. Let's go. Okay. One dribble strong, I think we can make it, right? One dribble, strong layup, one dribble. Let's go. Bravo. Okay. Now, come here. Gaspare. Gaspare. Numero uno. Come here. Okay. Look at the basket. Look at the basket. Now. When you see Luca, he's going to catch the ball somewhere here. When you see Luca here, you can play defense. Okay? Or if you see Luca here, you can play defense. Okay? Put a little pressure on Luca so he goes strong to the basket. Okay? Go. Your turn. Luca, right here. Go. Uh, oh. Taya. Come on. Strong. He's going to block you. Okay, Luca. Go. Okay. Details. Keeping the ball away from the defense recovering. A strong dribble so we have the ball right away in our hands. Finishing strong with protection. Okay, a strong first step in catching the ball with a better balance. Now, one thing I, I also use for simple reading Okay. Now, in in pairs, one down there, both down there. Okay. Offense right here. Right, uh, Luca, right here, with the ball. Gaspar over there. Gaspar over there. Okay. Now. Okay, Luca will pass me the ball, and come to receive the ball here. Okay. I will pass it to you. I will pass it to you for you to attack. You, Gaspare, you can only go to the right or to the left. Okay? You can't go in. Okay? You cannot go in. This is easy. Okay? Let's go. Try. Hey, hey, wait, wait. When I bounce, you go. Okay? Go. Okay. Strong. Okay. While you're here, go around. Okay. Strong. 
Switch. Other two. Come on. Before Christmas. Okay. Wait. Go. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Okay. We understood how it has to work. Okay, let's try. Ready? Go. I, 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 if you go, you have to go all the way. You can't come back. Eh, too easy. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. Ready? Go. Okay, good. Defense, you cannot go in here. You have alligators in here. Eh? You cannot go in. You have to go around or around. Okay? Now, if I reduce the triangle, it becomes harder and we need a quicker reading. The same, uh, the same drill that we all do of, of uh, the two lines. Come here. Two. One more. Hey. Uno más. Yeah, then. Three there, two here. Ball, ball. Okay. Ball, 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 ball. Okay. Okay, right here. Okay. I, I know you all have done this. Start back. Now you have to run, and he will keep pass you the ball here. Okay? Now, I'm a defender that will close down this side. That means that you have to dribble, move the ball, rip the ball, and go across. Okay? Or, I'm a defender that goes this way, so you have to continue. Or, I'm a defender that stays here. That means you shoot. Okay? Go. Travel. Watch out. Ready? Ready? Okay. Now, okay, it's obviously not their fault. But the actual movement of coming in and being a threat just by catching the ball. Catch the ball and be a threat. There's no need for great speed in the initial reading. Okay? You can catch, see, move, and dribble if needed, left or right. Okay. Now, in this situation, we read where we have space. Space to attack, left or right. One drill that I have been using lately, one here with the ball, one there, no ball, Pair right here. Two, two, other two. Okay. Offense, defense. Offense, defense. Offense, defense. Offense, defense. Okay. Now, a little bit closer. Okay. Now, you attack. Okay? Now, you pass the ball to your teammate. What, what teammate? Bravo. You pass the ball there. And, okay, come in. Okay. Coming in, ready? Okay, you're playing. Okay. We have this first pass. Now, if we were able to make this pass, we probably have... A good path to continue, okay, and to look for the ball. If I am open, you give me the ball, and I score, okay? If instead, name? If Sasha, great defender, great defender, pass the ball. 
and he jumps. I said, ah, no, I can't catch. I can't catch. I go this way and catch from him. Okay? I want to read the different spaces available. Okay? Get another one of your teammates. Get, get half for it. Ready? Try. <laughs> Which one is open? You pass the ball? Where? Bravo. Okay, a little bit too easy. Sasha. Get out, get out. Next two. Get away from there. Get, get back here. Hey, get back there. Get back. Get back. No, get stay there. Stay there. Stay there. For now, have you stay there. Usually then, who plays offense, defense become the passers, okay? For now, let's keep it this way. Defense. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Do you want to play and win and get the ball? Or do you want to pray for him to make a mistake? Ah. I, go, get, 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 go, 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 go. Okay, good. You saw Im immediately what the mistake he made. He didn't look for the ball, but he thought before, he said, I'm going to pass there and go and go the other side. They must realize to go, continue, open, I receive. Closed, I change. Okay? This difference is, is, is very important. Uh, 4.30, you said? Okay. Now, on the same idea, and we're going a little bit quicker here, okay? Everybody back here? Okay, here, here. I want one player here, one here, one, no ball, one, no ball, one, no ball. One, no ball. Okay. Two, one ball. Okay. No, oh, right here. Okay. The second one has the ball. Now, we're playing two on two. Okay. He is just a passer. He only passes. Okay. Now, you pass the ball there. And go play defense. And when he passes, you go play defense up there. Okay? When you receive the ball, I want you to pass the ball to him. The drill starts when he catches the ball. Okay? Now, if, if he is far away, you can shoot. If he comes up like this, if you can beat him with two dribbles, you can go. Okay? If he comes this up this way with two dribbles, you can go. If not, you pass the ball there to the open man. Okay? And sprint. Okay? We're only giving we're only giving the option of playing one on one if it's obviously a one on one. And once he passes, okay, to look for the ball. Okay? Let's try. Go. Okay. Now, defense. Don't let him go. Stay strong. Okay? Two mo one here again. Hey, come on. Let's try it again. Start, start, start. Okay, ready? Go. Okay. Good. Now, if you drive, if you dribble, it's because you see it's open. 
You don't dribble to see what happens. If you catch the ball and you're ready, you catch and you see, I go. If I catch and there's, I don't know what's happening, I'm going to pass and look for the ball close. Okay? Two more. Let's go, guys. Come on, one more. Change. Come on, up there, someone else. Luca, you. Play defense. Okay? He, pass, he passes the ball. And you can play defense up there. Go. You should have time to pass the ball there. Okay? Try again. Hey, hey, are you ready to play like that? Are you ready to play like this? Ready to play. Ready to win? Let's go. Go. Quick, quick, go. Quick, quick, quick. Bravo. And you look for it. Okay. Now, you understood the, the drill. What do we look for? And we'll see the continuation of it all in, in the five-man team offense of tomorrow. When this player, come here, come here, hey, shh, shh, shh. one over there, offense, defense, offense, defense. Hey, offense, defense. Offense, defense. Okay. When, when this player passed the ball and went looking for the, the ball, okay. Good, good, good. Now, where is the space available? Where is space? There's good space there. Okay. Try and get good space. Okay? My question. Did you go straight to the ball because it was good to look for the ball? Or could you go directly up here? Good. You're looking for the ball. Okay? Then you see the space. Then, the player that was in here, he can turn around and see. Where is space? Where is space? Or only there? There's no space here? Why not? We don't we don't play we don't play in that area? So why 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 not? <laughs> you don't know. But we can go and look for space. Okay? We can go and look for space here. In a game we play here, so let's use the space, okay? Over there is fine, but also over here is fine, okay? If, if we look for the ball, now this is one of the rules that uh, I'll show you tomorrow that I use in a five-man offense. We, one of the first rules is we fill the spots next to the ball. So if the ball is here, this is a spot to be filled, and that is a spot to be filled. Okay? The second rule is, if I'm denied the ball, if there's defense, since I only have two things to look for, ball and the rim, ball and basket, I can't get the ball, I go for the basket, okay, without thinking. Then here, I turn around, where is space? There, there, up top, I don't know. The third rule is I try to put the defense in a trap. That is, I want the defense to come out with both feet out of the three-point line. If I'm able to get the, get the defense to go with both feet out, that is automatic rim. 
Okay? How many times do we see deny? And we're here. And they, they pass us the ball, too. And now, now we were five meters from the basket. Now we're nine meters from the basket. Okay? So, when defender comes out, I go in. Okay? These are three rules that we'll see also tomorrow. Now, let's try, let's try to do the same thing three on three. So, offense, defense, offense, defense, right here. Two defenders, start again. Okay, now, you are going to pass the ball and play defense. He is going to pass the ball and you play defense. You guys are already offense, defense, and you run out here. Okay, now, now you can choose if to pass the ball there, if he can, okay, or to pass the ball there, or to play one-on-one. -on -one. If the defense comes out, if the defense comes out, if the defense comes out, you sprint, okay? I hope that is not your sprint. Bravo. Okay? Okay, let's try. Try from the beginning. Okay? Let's go. Okay? He's defense. Ready? Same again. Same same offense, same defense. Go. Okay. Third time. Again. Offense, defense. Same again. Now, I am having the same offense and the same defense do it three times. Because often we think of rotating the players, but there is not a direct connection between action and consequence. Okay, how to put it. They have to see and be able to experiment while the thing is live two or three times, and see how the defense reacts every time. If, if, they are, if they have a repetition every two minutes, they forget about what has happened before. Okay? Try to have them two or three times, one after another. Same offense, same defense. Go. Okay? Now, we said, psst, psst, psst. if you pass the ball, where is space? Here or there? So why do you want to play with the defense? Defense is happy if you stay here. Because defense rests. So you want to have Luca sweat every time. Okay? So you pass the ball. Oh, there's space. Okay, I look for the ball. Nothing happens. Where is space? Some more space. Oh, maybe there. Or maybe he's gone there. I don't know. I can go here. If he passes me the ball, where is space? Oh, I, under there. Under there. Uh, obviously, there's space over there, but it's not useful. Okay? You can't, can't score. You pass me the ball. Look for space. So... Are you are you the players also tomorrow? No. Okay. The idea of using space, creating an advantage only with reading, change of speed, change of direction. We rely too much in our basketball. Mine too, obviously, because players are all the same all over. In dribbling, too much. Not enough change of speed. 
Screens. I don't think it is useful for at this age to have screens because it reduces the possibility of them working on their improvement for movement. Okay? So if we learn to pass the ball, look for one-on-one. -on -one, has to be the first thing. If there's no one-on-one, -on -one, pass, advantage, keeping an advantage, looking for space. This is five-man basketball that can be then elaborated into something in the following years with screens, with uh, other movements that are, let's say, more complicated. Okay? Tomorrow, I'll show you what I do with five, five-man offense that, is, that has these principles plus some simple, let's say, combinations. Okay? No screens, no screens on the ball, only with reading of space and movement. Um, any questions? No questions. Okay. Thank you for your attention.